Hello there, guys and gals, and welcome back. Yes, we are here with episode 5 out of 5 of the excellent Walking Dead. I'll try that one again. The Expanse, <laughs> the Telltale series. We're close enough. Walking Dead in space with pirates and nothing to do with zombies at all. Uh, but yes, we are back with episode 5 out of 5. Now, before we begin, there is one achievement in this episode called uh, Rayan's Revenge, or Brother's Reaper, where... Well, I'm going to spoil it for you, but Rayan kills Arden. Now, what what you need to do in order to get that up is, in episode one, you need to break up the first fight between the two brothers. You need to lose the vault and save Rayan's leg in episode one. Um, if you want to keep all the crew members alive, make sure to sleep with Maya in episode two, at the end of episode two. And you need to trust Rayan as well at the end of episode three. So, as long as you've done that, then Rayan will turn up and shoot Arlen. If you haven't done that, um, and Rayan doesn't fully trust you, Toussaint will show up and kill Arlen, and very, very unfortunately, you will have to play through the entirety of the game again through episode 1 till episode 5. So, we are hoping that um, Telltale will turn around and put in either a chapter select or... Something where you can just change the uh, change the outcomes and change some things. Because it's a bit of a pain in the butt to have to go through the whole game again. And you can't even skip the uh, credits. Or you can't even skip any of the dialogue or the cutscenes or anything like that. So, um, yes. So, obviously, in my particular playthroughs, you would have seen me uh, cut Rian's leg off. <laughs> Annoyingly, because obviously they came out in episodes, I didn't realise that it was going to have such a big effect. And that's the thing with these types of games, of course. A small, uh, you know, one action can have a big consequence on anything else. But I'm going to uh, put it all down in the description boxes below from episode 1 till 5 to tell you exactly which ones to pick. So I do apologise profusely if I have steered you wrong. Um, but yes, this was a bit of a bit of a pain. But... Like I said, if you've done all that, we get to this point in episode 5. Now, of course, what we're going to do is we are going to not, obviously, kill Rayan. Because he's a little buddy. I mean, he's a bit of a bit of a wiener, but that's okay. So we're going to fight back. We're going to fight uh, Thor. Well, he's not Thor. He's Thor. He's like Thor from Wish. And then Chicken Drummer's uh, Kamina Chicken Drummer. Oh, her screams are just... I'm less sexy and cute. Drummer's turn. Ready back up. Drummer, I need help. Virgil! Virgil, open the door! Where's Maya? Have you seen her? She... Miss Castillo was taken to the brig, I believe. I hooked him up to the auto dock. He seems stable, but he needs attention. Um, we should... We should check his vitals then. What's wrong? They're gonna take me away. The pirates, they'll turn me over to the UNN or the OPA. Once they take the ship, they'll... If they take the ship. We can fight them off, but we need... The OPA? 
Why would they want you? The OPA has a standing kill order for any soldier that was present on... Anderson Station. I understand your anger. Do you? You were at Anderson fucking Station! You were a soldier in the greatest massacre in the history of the belt, and you hid it from me! Gah! Give me one reason I shouldn't leave you here to fend for yourself! You should. You need to help the rest of your crew, and I'm no use to you like this. Right, so in order to get the next achievement, with Dremor's incredible angry face, I don't, I don't know if I'm turned on or if I'm scared. I, yeah, she seems hungry. So what we're obviously going to do here is stay with him. So you can either leave him, but to get the achievement heal thy medic, we need to stay with him. Plus, we need to choose very specific dialogue options in the next three. If you had a patient who was panicking, what would you do to help them? I'd recommend some deep breaths, maybe brew some tea, but deep breaths to start, I suppose. What else? Um, I'd speak softly, use a non-judgmental tone. And try so, first up then, the first one that we're going to choose is, things are bad, but we've seen worse. So, B button please, or circle button if you're on the Plogan Station. The situation is bad. But we've already been through worse and survived and we're going to get through this i'm going to help you and then you're going to help me yes captain okay what would you do next well first i'd assess the patient's fears Next up is going to be the bottom option. You're afraid of being found out. I don't know if on PlayStation it's different, uh, but it'll be the bottom option anyway. You're afraid of being found out. You're afraid of being captured and interrogated, of revealing who you are to the OPA. Yes. Huh. Is that all? Well, this ship is my home. I... Whatever happens to me, I suppose I'm ashamed and afraid to lose who I've become. What next? Reframing the situation. Often it helps to introduce favorable outcomes to concretize obtaining. And for the finaliest of finalists, we are going to say you can go back to being our medic. So the middle option, you can go back to being our medic. And that should then be enough to get the heal thy medic achievement. So as soon as the achievement unlocks, any other dialogue options after this, you can just go pick whichever options that you want. Nothing is now that important anymore. Help me save them and you can keep doing it. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your help more than I can say. I'll retrieve my hand terminal. Where you go? Anderson Station. We don't have time. I know, but please, you must understand. I never raised my gun. I was there to treat the injured soldiers. I I wanted to. There was nothing I could do for the civilians. I know. You don't. I'm sure you cannot understand the base cowardice of someone who merely follows orders. Regardless of what happens to us, I must know. Can you ever forgive me? I know what it's like to be manipulated into doing something terrible by someone you trust. But forgiveness isn't mine to give. What can I do? 
You already left the UNN. You came to the belt, where you knew you'd still be in danger. You wanted to find a home. And you found one. Now you must fight for it. You still have work to do here. Thank you, Captain. I'll check on the patient and be ready for whatever happens next. So next up then, we are with Khan. Now, how you get Khan to survive is very easy. Um, obviously, okay? we would have picked up all the scavenge item and data logs. So to get it to survive, you would have had to have picked up the laser crystal in episode one. Which, if you were following along, episode one, we obviously did. And you've just got to succeed in all the quick time events here. Which, because it's on unlimited time, you should do with no problem. So, again, this episode is very more cutscene-y than anything. Uh, but Khan is going to basically stay alive, and she comes out with pretty much the best quote of the whole series when the pirates arrive. Look out for it. It's hilarious. Ah! You're hurt. I'm ecstatic. You sent more pirates to kill. Drummer. You shouldn't have. They'll send more this time. Good thing we already have a plan for pirate attacks. Fuck yes. Don't miss your shot. Don't shoot. I surrender. Thought you could double cross us, eh, drummer? Take us to the core. Now. Of course. I know right where it's hidden. There are no secrets on board the Artemis. Ah! Eat shit, cunt fuckers! Captain! Are there any injuries? Oh, great. Dr. Dipshit's here. Take my gun. Just finish me off quickly. Enough. I'm an excellent doctor. I've saved hundreds of lives, and you may be the most infuriating of them all. But I'll save you too, damn it. Now sit down, or I'll tie you down. Well, damn. I didn't think I could be any more turned on after killing those pirates. But here we are. I'm going to the cargo bay. Be ready to evacuate at any moment. Is it me? Is it weird? Or is Khan just turning us all on? Or is that just weird? It's like, you know, trying to make love to a leathery handbag or something, but... It you know, we've all stuck places, we've all stuck things in worse places, haven't we? I don't mind a leathery handbag. Right, so, we got two data logs, and the first one is right in front of us. It is the damage report, as soon as we get down here. So, uh, then we'll turn left, go straight through the big security doors here, straight in front of us. Now, uh, like I said, there's only two. There's not a lot of walking in, in this one. It's a, a lot of dialogue, it's a lot of scenes. Um, we will take a little 
a little lot of down to the old crew dick. Sorry, I'm New Zealandish now, so they say crew dick. Uh, go left here into the airlock prep. And interact with the airlock door sensor. That is the second out of second, or the second out of two data logs. So now at the end of the episode, you should have uh, a good bunch of achievements appear. So for now, we're just going to continue straight on. And then we're going to go straight through the double doors. Eventually, there we go. Let's interact with the security gate. Man, I wonder what's going to happen in the Expanse TV series after this one. Well, well, if you haven't seen it, trust me, it is worth a blast. It is so good. So good. So good. Why did they cancel it? I mean, to be fair, if it was on Netflix, it would have been cancelled after half a season. Because uh, that's, uh, that's what Netflix does. And then they charge you £15 for the pleasure. Rip off bar stools. Came to shoot me in the back, eh, drama? It's better than a pushing lala like you deserves. Still thinking you're better than me. That's your problem. That's why you lose. You turn your back on me and Baratna. Just like you turn your back on Dawes and the OPA. Where is Maya? Even now, all you care about is your fucking India girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I killed her. Threw her out the airlock right after you boarded. You pathetic, worthless Owala. Enough! even now, got it? Now finish up with him and let's get the hell out of here, Captain. She was more of a belter than you. So don't worry if um, uh, uh, Alan here says about uh, Maya dying. She hasn't died as long as you've got it where uh, one of the episode choices where she actually stays on the ship. Don't worry because I was paranoid as well. But it's this point where, like I said, if you have, as I said, broke up the fight and saved Rayan's leg in episode one and trusted Rayan in episode three, Rayan will now turn up. If not, um, Toussaint will show up. Uh, you can choose anything here. I just uh, pick the bottom option. He deserves it. I think any option will uh, do it. 
But yeah, so two Sons will show up instead and shoot Arlen. And again, if that does happen, like me, very much like me, I have to replay the entire game from uh, episode one, which means if that's the case, you will have to complete all the data logs again. So it might be worth just cracking on till the end, getting the rest of the achievements done, and then just uh, playing through to get the Brothers Reaper achievement if you want to do it that way. Um, so yeah, I do apologize, but there was, <laughs> it, it is literally one of those things where you think you're doing one good thing for a specific achievement in the next episode, but then that specific achievement messes it up for the next episode. That's the joy of these games. But again, like I said, I'm going to put it all in the description boxes in every video anyway, so all good. But it's basically just one long fight with the, uh, with the, um, ever-glowing Toussaint. She looks like she would scissor you, but with a knife instead. I wonder, Ouchie. Do you believe in grace? I do. It's what sustained me in that wretched cave the Indians locked me in. It's what binds me and my crew together as family. And this what at this moment gives me pause from killing you. When a weak or pettier person was savor the opportunity. But Grace must be earned. Oh! Convince me your life matters, and I will let you live. My crew member, Maya. I thought I could save her, but before I could, Arlen murdered her. I am sorry. She pledged herself to me, to the belt. Every day I live is about honoring that pledge. Because you loved her? Because I owe her. Don't you see how we're meant to be together? Kindred spirits. Two bodies in the same orbit. Finally we meet and you want to squander it all? How much time have you wasted serving inadequate men? Or trying to fight every battle by yourself? Circumstances set us against each other. But we are not victim to circumstance. Even now, after all the blood between us, we can seize this chance to build a new future together. You could have your own ship in my fleet. Name it after Maya. Use it to fight the MCRN and help defect us to the bell. Our buyer will make us wealthy enough that we can build our own system if we want and make sure we are always protected. Who is your buyer? It's a private company. There are no private companies in the belt. Is it Checkman? Royal Charter? It doesn't matter. One rich j or another. They're all the same. What matters is what we do with it. <laughs> you think you can trust the Inners? That they will hand you money and leave you alone? You're insane. And you're a fool with no vision. Pity. Captain Drummer. Drummer, this is Julie Mao. You've held up your end of the bargain, and now I've held up mine. All the pirates on board the Europa Spain are dead. No! Yeah, look, this is an open broadcast, so I don't know if you're hearing me or who else is. But your crew is on board, and I have the Artemis on target lock. 
If I don't receive a response from you soon, I will assume the ship has gone hostile and blow it to shit. Oh, and there's someone else here. Drummer, Julie and I are here, waiting for you. Good luck. I'd offer you everything. You have nothing to offer me. I fight for the belt. Ready torpedoes! Now, if you think Arlen's death looked pretty hilarious, like he was just about to stop a goal, uh, being a goalkeeper, just watch Toussaint's face now. She's going to be like... Uh... And then she dies. So, job done, yeah. It's, it's a win-win for everyone. Mina, you're really alive. Alan said you were dead. And you believed him? <laughs> Dumbass. You kept me alive. So did you. Watch your step when we get inside. There's a lot of dead pirates. Nearing Siri Station, Captain. Are you sure we're cleared for approach? We're clear. Dawes controls the docks, and he's decided to lift the bounty on me and play nice. For now, at least. Drummer? Kamina? Homecoming jitters? Something like that. There's still time. You can at least listen to the message. Why? I know my path back. It goes through series. Through Dawes. It's painful, but... At least I have you at my side. We didn't go through all this shit just so we could shack up together on series. 
wonderful as that sounds. We did it so you could build a new future for the belt. That future is for all of us. We're a family. We are. And we'll be together again. But right now, Ceres needs mechanics. That's why Julie and I get off here. Plus, someone needs to babysit the rich girl. But the belt needs leaders. Listen to the message, okay? Drummer, this is Fred Johnson. I believe the last time we met, you were holding a gun to my head. But what's past is past. I think you'd agree. I understand you are returning to Ceres. I am calling to offer you an alternative. I do not claim to speak for the belt. Any person who would do so is as foolish as they are dangerous. The belt is a fractious, toilsome tinderbox. A graveyard of ideals and ambition. It is also, I believe, the last great hope for humankind. The inners have forgotten how to build. Their focus is on killing each other and controlling belters. I know this firsthand. But belters are builders. We forge new worlds out of rock and metal. It doesn't matter where we came from or the demons in our past. It only matters what we can contribute right now. I know you have been through a terrible ordeal and that through it all, you never forgot what you were fighting for. That is why I need you here on Tycho as my partner for a new OPA. Come speak with me, see what I am building you have much to contribute, Drummer. Don't let it be wasted. Damn it. Change coordinates. We're making a stop at Tycho Station. Of course, Captain. May I ask, what is on Tycho? And this is it. So yeah, this is the shortest one, just over half hour long. But now you should be smashing through eight achievements, which would be the rest. So you would have been able to keep Cox alive, of course, as long as you didn't space him in episode one. Uh, keep Meyer alive. Now, as I said, a, a couple of people had got gotten confused with that one. But basically, it was just a case of getting Rayan to trust you and sleeping with Maya in uh, episode two. And trust in Rayan in episode three. And apparently she, well, she survived for me that doing that way. Uh, keeping Khan alive, of course. And obviously we'll get the no belt left behind of achievement for keeping all the crewmates alive. Completing eps, find all data logs. Complete episode five with all data logs. So yeah, achievements be spick and spam. But there we go then, guys and gals. So that is The Expanse, a Telltale series. A very triumphant return, I would say. And I do hope that they can just continue on. Uh, maybe with a Wolf Among Us 2. That'd be good. Because that game was a classic one. But yeah, there we go. So I do hope that you enjoyed the entire the entirety of the game. I do hope the guides helped as well. If they did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. And I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love!